Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Cookies Enabled. I'm Andrew. I'm out on my one wheel today and we're going to be reviewing the Ray-Ban Stories sunglasses. I have the Wayfarer model and just going to go through what they're like, what they do, and what do I think of them so far. So stick around and let's learn something new. All right, so we are out here at the pier in Charlevoix, Michigan. You can probably see the ferry somewhere right back there. That's heading out to Beaver Island. So I'm, again, to give you an idea of what these uh, glasses look like, I'm recording on my phone and these at the same time. You're gonna see that uh, video right up here in the corner at the same time, but then we're gonna sit down and review them. All right, so we're testing them out again. I think I'm running into a few issues with them interacting with my phone. I'm trying to record on my phone and these at the same time. Not quite sure if it's working out properly. We're going to take a look in the editing studio and see how that's working. But so far, I'm, I'm really happy with them. And I just heard the little ding that that video stopped. So I think it's actually still recording on my phone. That's a good thing. We're just going to have to find out. All right, so now that we're sitting down um, for the beginning, this is the case that they come in. And it's a nice, solid, hard case. It also acts as the charger for your glasses. So. We're gonna open them up here in just one second and go through some of the features so you can see just how they work. And again, like I said, so far I've been quite happy with these. So inside, you've got what looks like a standard pair of Ray-Bans. Uh, I have another uh, pair of these, just uh, the regular ones. They're a little bit slimmer than these, but even there, these have a very nice low profile. They look like normal sunglasses. There are some differences, obviously. You can see the cameras on either side. Um, and then if we pull them out, set that aside, you can tell that the profile is a little wider, especially along the sides than your average ones. But again, they look nice and that's more for the batteries and all of the technology that goes into these. So uh, we have a button right on top here, and that is mainly used to control the uh, camera capabilities of this. You can take a photo, take a video, you can do everything from there. Again, you can see the cameras right there and on the other side. The power switch is conveniently hidden right back here and you just slide it on and they turn on. And then you also have right here, two speakers on either side and they'll sit right by your ear. So um, I've been through, I've been using them for a little bit. The audio quality is honestly better than I assumed it was going to be. Uh, if you're on a busy road or if there's a lot of background noise, you're definitely going to want to just stick with uh, your standard earbuds or headphones or whatever you like. But if you're in a quieted area and you're just walking around, it's not that bad at all. Uh, you can take phone calls from these as well uh, once they're hooked up to your phone, which is really nice. I appreciate that. And from the people that I've talked to on the phone, I come through pretty well. Uh, so you've got microphones built in as well. Um, but yeah, they're really nice style, really nice frames. Uh, they seem to still be consistent with the production quality that Ray-Ban's known for. They don't feel cheap. They don't feel, uh, you know, chintzy or poor quality. I'm pretty happy with them so far. So those are the glasses. They fold up normally, and 
they charge with this little bit right here. So we got a battery inside this section. I'm pretty sure that's where it is, uh, wired up to there. And you just set them in. It's ma uh, magnetized. And once they're in, you can see the light shows if it's charging. Uh, it'll be green when they're fully charged. But that's what they look like. That's how they work. And the other feature I really like, and you can't see it, I um, mean, we know we have the button, but right here is a touch sensor. And that allows you to control a lot of the other features of these glasses. Um, you can adjust the volume just by swiping up. You can take it uh, quieter by swiping back down. That's a really cool feature. Um, you can even manage phone calls with that touch sensor. If you double tap, it's going to answer a phone call. Uh, you can double tap again to end. And if someone is calling you, they will give you a notification on the phone and say whoever is calling. Um, you can use the voice activation for everything else as well. All I have to say is, hey, Facebook, take a video. And it starts taking a video. And when it does, there's a tiny little LED that pops up right here and shows you that you're taking a video. You can just see it in your peripheral vision. It's very discreet. It doesn't really get in the way. But the nice feature that these have for that is there's also an LED in the front that lights up when you take a video. Uh, as I said, some of the big issues with like uh, Google Glass or some of your other uh, smart sunglasses is that people are sometimes obviously not that crazy about being photographed or videoed. And I'll wait a moment while the siren goes. Sorry, folks. That's a, that's a Charlevoix thing. I don't know why, but uh, at every day at noon, that siren goes off. And then the uh, curfew at 9.30 for the youngins in town goes off at 9.30. Um, anyway, so yeah, they have a uh, little LED there. So it kind of makes, uh, if you're walking around town, it makes everybody aware that you're taking a video. Uh, they might not know what it is, but as these become more prevalent, if they do, more people will understand that. And it, uh, again, it's just, you know, a peace of mind thing as taking photos and video of people without their permission is generally frowned upon. So yeah, you can answer a phone call with this with a double tap. You can hang up with a double tap. If you press and hold, um, that can reject a call, like if you just don't want to talk to them. And then you can also deal, like I said, the Facebook assistant. You can just say, hey, Facebook, and it will do whatever you ask. You can tell it, hey, Facebook, call somebody. You can ask it uh, basic questions even, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, so again, that's just the basic runaround of these things. So in a moment, uh, we're going to walk around. I'm going to show you a little more of the area using the video features of this. We'll take some photos. I'll show you how that works uh, in real time. But at the end of the day, uh, am I happy that I got these? Yes. They're sort of, I, I wouldn't call it a gimmick, but they're obviously not really that necessary. I have my earbuds. I have my phone. But I do like my sunglasses, I like the features, and I'm really happy with uh, just how they feel and how they work. So, yeah, um, let's see, let's go into the specs of the video. The uh, quality is pretty good, honestly, for a small camera like that. It has, especially in, uh, deep, in good lighting, has pretty good resolution. Again, the audio quality is not the best, but from what you're getting, I'm not that upset about that. One thing, unfortunately, and just for me, with uh, how much I shoot video, the photos are square. Um, more for like your Instagram or Facebook. Um, again, Facebook stories, that's why they're called the Ray-Ban stories. 
so that format fits a little better with that uh, but the quality is good you're limited to 30 seconds for video you can take a bunch of photos and once you have it connected to your phone they download directly to your phone once you have everything set up which is nice and you can share them directly to uh, some of your social media there is a separate app for these it's called facebook view and that just ties directly in with everything but for what you're getting if you want to just play around with something cool uh, you get that first person point of view aspect they're they're just a lot of fun honestly i'm looking forward to getting some really cool videos riding around this year with my one wheel and as you've seen at the beginning it's a fun perspective a different way to see the world a different way to kind of share uh what you're what you're doing every day and the hands-free aspect of it is i think probably one of my favorites you just you don't even have to hit the button you can just tell facebook to take a video and you can record a little you know 30 second snippet of your life that day something fun you saw i might people might be taking these uh, all over um i don't know where it's still in its infancy so we don't know about the laws on a lot of things or if someone takes us to a concert to try to record video but we do the same thing with phones so i don't see really anything coming from that but again if you're looking for something fun give them a shot they're not that expensive these run roughly 300 dollars you can even get them with prescription lenses which i think is really nice those uh, are obviously a little more expensive with the prescriptions but you can get them that way they do come in multiple different styles uh, i think they have aviators they have the wayfarers here and a few other ones on their website and i'll post a link in the description to that but for the most part i'm happy i like them are they needed no are they fun yes and honestly that's enough for me so um stick around for a minute and we'll show you some fun little clips out there again i'm gonna record from my phone and uh show you the video from these at the same time so you can kind of get that uh comparison going and we'll see what we can do from there Alrighty, so that was my review of the Ray-Ban Stories. I hope if uh, you've been thinking about getting one of these uh, pair, that gives you a little bit more information on them. I'm going to try to share some more uh, videos and images from these glasses in the coming weeks. I'm going to try to do a short video. We're going up to Mackinac Island uh, tomorrow. It's my 10th anniversary with my fiance, so I'm excited for that. I'm gonna focus on that, but I do want to get some really cool shots while we're on the ferry up to Mackin Island. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. We got some good weather waiting for us, but either way, hope you learned something new. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and share all of this with your friends, and we will see you next time. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Nothing to see here, just riding around Mackinac City. I love it. Look at that. <laughs>